The enemy with this weapon heals the wielder. If they go mad... Wow, that's quite brutal. Hmm, I'm not sure I like that. Um... We might have a problem here. We can't take... We can't take her. We can't take Shadow Heart in, can we? You get Destroy Undead, which is nice. And level 3 spell slots. And access to all the level 3 stuff. And... You get Bestow Curse. And Fear. Um... Speak with Dead we already have. Glyph of Warding. Inscribe a circle of arcane runes on the ground. When stepped on by an enemy, <laughs> it's traps. Spirit Guardians. Call forth spirits to protect you. Nearby enemies take 3 to 24 radiant damage or 3 to 24 necrotic damage per turn. And their movement speed is halved. Caster can't become invisible. That's nice. That's a good defensive spell. Animate dead. <sighs> You're going to have to take Revivify. Beacon of Hope. Your allies will regain the maximum hit points possible when healed. They will also gain advantage on saving throws. On wisdom and death saving throws. Protection from energy. Remove, cur remove curse could be crucial when trying to read that book. Daylight is nice. Mass healing word. Let's drop, because we have Prayer of Healing we can do outside of combat, let's drop Cure Wounds but take Mass Healing Word so she is more bonus action healing. And I want to take Spirit Guardians because she is getting into combat quite a bit. So let's drop Spiritual Weapon for Spirit Guardians. Let's take Beacon of Hope. So we can play around with that. Let's take a hold person. Humanoid enemy. Githyanki are humanoid. Yeah, some really nice stuff there. Um, right, what does Todd get? Level 5. Extra attack and what? And a spell. Spell. Level 1 spell slot and a level 2 spell slot. We get the extra attack and we gain a spell. But it's the same spell list. Bark skin. Protect a creature from attacks. Increase its AC to 16. We're already past 16. I'm tempted to take Cure Wounds, just for that little bit of extra healing in the party. No, we can't boost his intelligence. Pass by that trace could be nice. Spike Growth. Shape a piece of ground into hard spikes. It's thorns. Uh, movement is halved. The creature walking through it takes 2 to 8 piercing damage every time. That, that's so good for traps.
We also gain darkness. Do we switch out Hail of Thorns? No. Keep it for now. Can we trust Lazel? Can we trust Lazel? Can't give up now. So we need to go over the mountain pass. Moving in. So we have to go over the mountain pass to do the crash. Uh. How's everybody feeling about jumping? Um, we feel like we can't. <laughs> we feel like we can't jump. Lazel might, but that leads somewhere. Yeah, I think we are going to have to swap Shadowheart out. They're big claw marks. Look at these gouges. Tore through rock like it was butter. Perhaps Dragon. Some artist trying to make a statement. I don't think it's that. Must be a dragon, mustn't it? Let's check loot. And then we'll camp. Nice. I also need to sell. Um, we can probably head back to the... The druids, but there's got to be somebody else. I am going to send Lazel across here as well, just to see. Blackets will be done. Quickly then. Oh, she gained Misty Step. That's kind of cool. Um, jump. What do you see? Free stuff. Well done. We need Todd. Uh, ladies, stay there. Good. 
Good old Misty Step. I forgot we had that. I do love a Misty Step. Anything. What's that? Oh, it's just a dirt mound. With a uh, Viridian crystal and some gold. All right, guys, let's uh, let's go home. That was worth it, because I think these crystals and things are going to really come in handy with crafting. Can you not misty step again? Done. No time to rest. We're gonna do that on a short rest. Um No duh. shit. Oh, come on. Just, just, let's do it. Let's do it. There we go. Right, fine. This whole jumping thing is really, really scary. Right, go to camp. I feel like we need to take a minute. She's clearly speaking to Todd. Contraptions are hot ticket item. Might not be our last scrap for its sake. Now those paladins are out of your way. What's next on your agenda? First things first, I need to get this engine tuned up. Things powerful, but it's been feeling volatile ever since I left the hells. Can't be too hard to find an infernal mechanic ground here, right? We'll see. So, about our tadpole powers. You really did it, huh? <laughs> Not worried about adding more lithid into the mix? Well, what can I say? You look fine, smell fine, seem fine. And yet... You're more mind flayer than ever. Hope you don't expect me to follow your lead in this. That's fair. Not at all. Good. And you know, keep an eye on yourself. If you start feeling loopy, shout. We don't know what these tadpoles are capable of. Interesting. What's on your mind? I want to talk to you about your infernal engine. Old Rusty? Sure. What does the infernal engine do to you? Gives me energy. Power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. You must be <laughs> pent up. I try not to think about it. <laughs> I still think about it constantly, but, you know, I try. One of these days, I'll sort the whole infernal affair out, get myself cooled off, and start making up for lost time. But, not today. We're working the magic. That old What's Todd charm. Mind? I'd like to hear how you ended up fighting in the Blood War. Why not? Let me see if I can paint you a picture. The year, ten air. The place, 
sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak, a knock-kneed delinquent from the outer city with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. You keep saying, she yeah. put this thing in my chest and set me to work. Well, to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. You mentioned the boss who gave you up to Zariel. Who was it? Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. That's cool. What did I know? I saw a job. A good job. With people I liked. Doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Good talk. Well? Will's brows furrow as your minds connect. He sees the burning embers of Joaquin's rest, then Floric's face as she tells you of Ravengard's abduction. Hells! Older Ravengard's been taken! That's a cool way of catching the camp up on activities. You must know the man, judging by the concern in your voice. <laughs> I know him better than most. He's my father. Holy shit! I know I haven't said. Our relation was no matter of pride. Not least for him. Then the choice is clear. We should rescue Duke Ravengard. Thank you. That means a lot. But I wonder, what makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Menzo Baranzin would have little use for my father. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters. These true souls are behind his abduction. They are. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. He can keep whatever secrets he wants. Certainly about his family. Let's talk about something else. I'm all for it. What do you think of the illithid potential the dream visitor spoke of? I think that unknowable powers come with unknowable consequences. I can't say I'm not curious. But once you take an elithid by the talon, there's no telling how deep into the abyss it might drag you. You've seen how dangerous these absolute cultists are. We need the extra help. Wow, we're not going to win this one. I appreciate where you're coming from. Truly, I do. But these parasites are quite literally illithid weapons of war. And I'm not so certain they won't be turned against us upon consuming them. What was it like being the son of a Grand Duke? Not so enchanting as you'd think. The poor tears, the cold wells. They were the blue bloods hosting the fancy balls and drinking from gold goblets. Father's the son of a blacksmith, born with barely a coin in the coffers. 
He made a name for himself among the Flaming Fist. Brave as Baldurin, stubborn as a deep rofe. Daring, outspoken, but hardly posh. <laughs> I spent more time dueling with Father than I did rubbing elbows with lords. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and the talent for courtly dance. I like Will. And now you're the Blade of Frontiers. Quite a change, don't you think? Yes, and no. Father taught me the four pillars of power. Courage, insight, strategy, justice. He reckoned I'd follow in his footsteps. First as a fist marshal, then as a duke. Vanquish evil, maintain order, save the world. But a duke makes bedfellows with more monsters than he slays. Father called it diplomacy. I called it hypocrisy. In the frontiers, there is no posturing, no diplomacy. I slay monsters. I don't consort with them. Well, not when I can avoid it. Uh, we take Will. We drop Shadow Heart. We take Will. We're losing our healer. It's fine. It, it's it's fine. We're just gonna have to go with it. We're not going for a fight. It seems the Githyanki are keen to reclaim the artifact I carry. I can't afford that to happen. In fact, none of us can. That thing is shielding us somehow. I don't want to know what happens if we lose it. There must be more to the artifact. You were sent to take it, you must know why it's so important. I only know what I know. I was ordered to retrieve it, and that's what I intend to do. The rest is immaterial to me. You seemed intrigued when Halzin mentioned the Dark Justicars. Oh. Wouldn't you be in my place? If there's even the slightest chance that Shah worshippers remain within our reach, we should try and find them. Even if they're all long gone, and that seems quite likely from what we know, who knows what they may have left behind for us to use? My it's not wrong. Are nothing if not resourceful. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. We know. To become a Dark Justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, mother, I should add. We've heard all this, but I don't want to skip the it. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove inscrutable thank you for sharing we should journey separately for now I'll look for you here if I need you again if you're sure yeah I'm sure fine I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company Don't give it to me. It's now bound to me. So...
The only reason not to take Shadowheart was to leave this behind. We clearly can't leave this behind. what people mean when they talk about butterflies in their stomach. Did you want something? Join me. All right. Some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. Um, bound means it's locked to your inventory. Did it go back to her? Yeah, so it's now locked to me. What happens if I use it? A curious ornate box. Its many sides are engraved with indecipherable glyphs. Investigation. Examine it more closely. We have a minus one, but plus three. So we're on a plus two for this. We're fine. He's not that stupid. Not when it comes to boxes. Don't know if it's permanent. No openings you can see, yet you sense something inside it. I've seen markings like these. Ancient Githyanki inscriptions. Whatever this box, it's significant. Put it away. I don't want to force it open. Not until we know what's going on. Um. Carl, I can need you to stay here. Soldier. Need you to stay behind in camp for Sounds now. Sounds boring. You heard me. Ah, oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. Uh, well. The Gif Knight is as merciless as the dragon he rides. That we mm. still have our heads is nothing short of a miracle. Join me. That's the spirit. Right, so, I'll, I'll let you know what I'm thinking. We need to do the portal, because if the portal isn't a way of getting rid of these things... ...then it's Moonrise Towers, which I think is going to be anyway. We're still going down that route. Um, but I want to do the Githyanki stuff, and then we can switch out Lazel for Karlak. Deepened Pact. Oh, yes. Yes! This is why I love Pact of the Blade. Pleased with your service, your otherworldly patron added new bonuses, or new boons, to the terms of your pact. Blade Pact holders gain an extra attack, so he now has two attacks as well. Uh, the Familiar gains an extra attack, and Pact of the Tome can cast more spells. Call Lightning would be fun. So, I don't know how fly works, but we can take spells. So we have two attacks, but we could still, one turn, we can only cast one spell. Uh, one action is now two attacks or a spell. Cloud of Daggers was very good. Gracious form. Transform yourself when aligned with tiny... Oh, gaseous form. Tiny gas cloud. It can't fall. It fits through small openings. It's very hard to damage. We could turn Todd into a cloud and send him all over the place. Oh, that sounds like fun. The hunger of Hadar. The 
That's pretty good. Oh, no, we're having counter spell. Nullify another creature's spell as a reaction. The spell must be level 3 or lower. That's pretty good at level 5, level 3. If it's higher, you must do a check to nullify it. That's so good. Um, Eldritch invocations. So we cannot change... No, we're stuck with these, which is fine. I wouldn't want to anyway. What do we want? Being cast slow as a warlock spell. We could do bestow curse as a warlock spell. Armor of shadows. We can do mage armor. Oh, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Oh, we can speak to animals without spell slot. We can gain proficiency in deception and persuasion, which is is okay. He is a charisma base. Fiendish figure. You can cast. False life at level one without spell slot. The problem with Will, how he's set up, he's constantly getting temporary hit points, but you can only ever get temporary hit points from one source, so that's basically pointless. A mask of many faces, you do disguise self without expending spells, so that's okay. One with the shadows, you can cast you can learn to cast one with shadows. It's gonna be repelling blast. Because we hit somebody with Eldritch Blast, it pushes them away. So much fun. It pushes them half their movement as well. That's really good for crowd control. Or once per long rest you can cast Bane using a spell slot. So it's once per long rest and it uses a spell slot. But Bane is quite nice. It's got to be Repelling Blast. So we'd have Agonizing Blast which adds his plus four charisma to the damage. We have Devil Sight which means he can see. As a human he can't see in the dark. Now he can see up to 24 meters with Magical and non-magical, and then we're going to be pushing people around. So, we could drop Arms of Hadar. And take Hunger of Hadar. Which is concentration, so hex, but we'd be hexing. I like hex. The problem with arms of Hadar is it, they have to be in combat with Will half the time, or more than half the time. Will's surrounded by allies as well, and it's going to be hitting allies. So if he was on his own more, if we were operating him more as a, a lone operative, he'd be okay with it. But I'm half tempted because we're not using it to take something else. And Fireball just sounds like fun. Good damage. Burns a spell slot, but it could potentially take a big threat out. And if we need to change it out, we can change it out. Sounds good. Sounds good.